Once you get your IV set in the vein, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the flush and you're going to actually withdraw the sample that you need. Once you get that sample, the first thing you're gonna do is waste three to five mils and then you're gonna pull the actual sample that you need. After that, make sure you hook up a new flush and you wanna flush that line that you just worked really hard to get. Grab a new flush, flush it. The other thing you wanna do is make sure that you're not clamped and to make sure that line stays patent, you're gonna reflush and then after that, you're gonna make sure that you spend the time securing that IV. Now that you've got your sample, what you're gonna do is take this blunt tip plastic cannula and you're gonna attach it to the sample syringe. After you do that, then what you're gonna do is grab the necessary vacutainers or valves that you need. Use that blunt tip, you don't wanna poke yourself, apply pressure, and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna fill up this uh, tube, the blood tube, and what you wanna do is you wanna continue filling that blood tube all the way up as full as it needs to be. This is indicated on the label with that little black mark. You wanna to fill to that designated line. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.